Hi there, we're here today in the beautiful sunshine in County Loud in Ireland at Black Mountain Recording Studios and we're about to record our new album I Wish You Well. So come on with me and see what goes on behind the scenes. This is Trish. She does everything for me. You can see that I take great care of my appearance. I don't really do very much. I don't use creams so much. I just use a thing called aqueous cream. I wash my face with that. And I rub it on then when I'm finished and out the door. But on days like this, you get extra special attention. I've come to enjoy recording you know, more. In the beginning I didn't uh, really enjoy recording that much. Of course it was a great opportunity to get to record. But I suppose it was alien to me. I loved the live um, situation as you will know from being at concerts. But in recent times I think I've got more comfortable with recording. I joked with the, the lads one day, I was with them in the studio. I said, do you know that my favorite part of recording so they all ears to hear what it was. This is when I'm finished and I'm walking out the door. <laughs> but I am getting better, you know, with enjoying it. And it's a, it's wonderful to work with the musicians and the, the just the talent they have is incredible. Well, it's a while since I've seen everybody, so it'll be, it'll be nice to catch up again. Hello. 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 This is Kieran. And Dave, and they are making the magic. Okay, nice to meet you. How you doing? Good, yeah. lovely place. Yeah. Is this where you're from? Yeah, yeah. This is the place to be. Yeah. I suppose sometimes you wonder, how do I choose the songs? I really just choose songs that I, I really like when I hear them. An odd song might take a couple of listens, but generally it's just, it appeals to me right away. I'm doing a, a few original songs, you know, that wouldn't have been recorded before. I struggle sometimes in the beginning because I, I don't know them that well. And the reason I don't know them that well is that I don't want to sound like the person who did it to me. So I don't listen to them too much until I, I'm recording. And then I might listen a wee bit before I record and then sing it. Anyway, that's my excuse for not practicing. Daniel is great to work with. He's extremely easy to work with. He'll be there for you. That's much better. Once you just put a mic in front of him in a room, he just does his thing. And once you're happy, he's happy. So he's been extremely easy to work with. Very laid back experience. Also very quick. I was surprised how many tracks we get through in a day with him. I mean, Daniel is Daniel, he's just, he's the same the whole time, but he, he really loves on stage performances, like he's so comfortable in front of a live audience. Although in saying that, this is my first time being with Daniel in a studio, and to be honest, he's so comfortable behind the mic. Like he's so, so good in the studio, he's so quick, and uh, it just comes so natural to him, so it's, a, it's an amazing experience working with this guy, you know. If you open up your heart to see his love is true. Yeah, that's all right. It's no secret, nothing new. I'd probably be up on that, I'd say. If you believe, just believe, he'll be there for you. Do you think? I don't know. <coughs> Does it? This song is written by a very good friend of mine, Sean O'Farrell. Sean uh, was in the music business for a number of years and then left the road, but he still uh, sings uh, and writes some great songs, and this one is called He Will Be There For You. It's forgiving, not forgetting. It's no secret, nothing new. If you open up your heart to him, you'll see his love is true. 
If you believe, just believe, he'll be there for you. That's beleza. And if you believe, truly believe, he'll be there for you. That's beautiful. Is that be enough? <coughs> good. Oh dear. <coughs> Crack is good. Do what you have for them. When you have the chance, what lets you go to see some now? That's always my concern that the writer or writers are happy with whatever. And because I can only try to interpret what they want the song to be. And then I, I suppose ultimately I have to sing it the way I feel it. Or someday time will come. Sorry, I'm struggling to see this thing that they both will not be here. Do that again, but that's not it's not convincing. So listen to the words that I sing in this song. I think that's enough. Should finish there. Should take too long to get to the end. <laughs> yes, I can't say that. Yes, yes. Yes, you only have. I can't say it. Yes, 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 yes. Let me try it again. Because I've loaded, I have a whole bag of yes here. No, you know, like, you could do without the yes and the second chorus. Do you want a few yeses just in case? Ah, oh, no, I haven't. Well, if I hear a yes so far, <laughs> I'm telling you, there'll be fun. Here, Patsy playing on it now. Just one piece. <laughs> now let us carry on with Patsy. You only have one mom and one dad, so treat them as well as you can. So listen to the words that I sing in this song. Bet you got a bad yes. This next song is called Hit Me Hearts of Gold and it was written by B.G. Connor. And I remember my first cigarette near killed me. And I remember all those hit me hearts of gold. Whoa. I have it. Good. So. Oh, dear lovely people. Good day, work. I think I've given you enough of my time now. Thanks, Dave. Bye. Thanks, man. See you. Mind yourself. Thanks. Look at that beautiful view there. That was a very, I think it was a productive day. So we'll go again on Wednesday and see how we get on. Yeah. Has to be some curve, you know. Today is the final day of tracking for the album, final of three days. And uh, we're just getting set up in the barn where all the guys are going to be playing live together, getting all the headphone mixes together, getting some sounds in the control room. The advantage in this session is that it's all Daniel's band except for Jimmy Smith is on guitar, which is what I would have been doing if I wasn't trying to produce the album, and then uh, we Mitch and Nelson on steel. So it's in one way it's great because it's the guys that you up you toured with anyway. So the people who are playing on the album know what we're going for at all times. Well today we should finish uh, all that we're going to record. We probably have hopefully if we get it all done today the work time to do. We'll probably have 25 songs to pick from. But, but they're not songs that are not going to eventually be, be on an album. They're just, that they'll, it's kind of next year's album as well. I think every year since 1988, we've had an album in the UK charts at some point during the year. The Guinness Book of Records. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm lucky that I have a good following, you know, that very good record buying following. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice to be in the charts, it's, it's always 
a bit excited. I mean, they, and I'm sure the year's going to come when I won't be in them. Um, so I hope the year that I won't be in them, I just won't record an album that year. I'll know before. <laughs> so that I won't feel dejected, you know. <laughs> morning, morning. morning. I'm early today. Hope you have the best face on today. We're doing behind the scenes. We're having fun, aren't we? I'm really enjoying it. It's really good fun. And we're here, this Peter's in the corner. He's in there because he doesn't pay tax. And he owns, he owns the studio, so he doesn't want to be found, you know. And Kip is the photographer. Kip is my airbrusher. He makes me look twenty. <laughs> and we're doing photos today. Kip is going to take some still pictures when he goes away and he stretches them out just to get all the lines out of the face. And just a pity none of you can sing for me. I wouldn't need to be here at all. <laughs> Is that from Kay or Seth? Seth, anyway. I'm just, Patricia um, takes care of all, all the mail. She always spends every so often um, just putting together and I write the notes to the people. Just to let them know we got the letters and maybe it's worth to tell us or whatever it might be. This is one from the bishop. He's in the way the grab in here again. All good. A quick question. You know the song, I've been around the world a time or two. What do you call it? Once you've loved the best. Okay, that's good. I'm about, I'm about to assault it now. <laughs> Literally, you'll not know it when you hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the day we met that I could spend my life with you. I think I'll need to go up. I've been around the world a time or two and done my share. I've seen some sights and places that I never knew. you've loved the best you know that nothing less will do yeah that's great that's right, yeah yeah oh it does i've seen the sunsides and places oh it's fun this is my birthday cake This is Kieran Cavanagh, my manager, and this is Michael Midas from Demon Music, who puts our albums out. Daniel is one of the most consistent artists in music history, with the amount of albums we've had charting every year since 1988. No one else has achieved that feat. I miss those pillow talk, pillow talk, darling, wherever you are. Until God lays me down to rest, you'll always have my heart. How I miss our pillow talk. I'd like to just stop in one or two things, and I think we have. Now, if there's anybody down on the road coming with songs, tell them they'll come up quick because I'm nearly finished. Isn't that a beautiful voice? I played a party last night for some old folk. Maybe the walls of the angels so I can dance with my angel again. I never drink beer. You just don't like it. No, I, I, I used to drink beer, but I didn't drink it since 1982. I've been too careful. And I can remember, it was actually a Tuesday. I was going to play cards that night in the McKee at the cards. And I, was, I remember 
that night not checking the tea at the Taj. And that was October 1992. Uh, it's great to be here in Black Mountain Studios recording this year's album with Daniel with his own band who have been with him for quite some time. And also the album is being produced by David Arkin and Kieran Mitchell who also play in Daniel's band. And I have not heard him as good a voice in a long time. He's in perfect voice for recording. Maybe he's had a rest from live touring and that helps the recording process, but he's singing really, really good. You are always there for me. Quite nice, isn't it? I should be singing again now, shouldn't I? When I'm less than I should be. When I just can't face the day. You are there when I most need you. You are there so constantly. You come shining through. You always do. You're always there for me. Now we're shopping diesel. Can I can I break the mic and everything now? Yeah. <laughs> That's all gone. Good job, Daniel. Well done, that was lovely. Yeah. Really nice singing. She says Daniel O'Donnell tells me I'm gorgeous. You are gorgeous. <laughs> and you're twice as gorgeous as that lovely pepper pig case. <laughs> oh, that's lo lovely. Thank you. That's lovely. We'll all take our clothes off for this shot. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Mark. We're not doing this. I usually can take their clothes off, but I just do it right now. I want to dance with you. Twirl you on my ankle. I just want to dance with you. I want to dance with you. Relax as Getting the good this is the first, my first 60 year old pictures. Really? Yeah. So you're 59, the last one? Yeah, I'm in my 50s. That is all the tracking done for the album now. It went really, really well. The guys are absolutely super. We got through it all, which was a big task, a lot of songs. Went really well, very enjoyable experience. Everyone does a lot of laughs, good fun. It should be pretty good because Black Mountain here is great. All the sounds we've got were great. We've Mark Carlin, and we've Peter Baldwin in helping out. So, you know, we're, we're well down the road already. Like, it already sounds great, so we've just got to make the tweaks. And, um, but the finishing touch is the bit of sparkle, and uh, it should be good. Well, there we are. That's the recording finished. And I hope that you enjoyed being with us behind the scenes. We certainly had a great time on this recording. And we feel that we've created something very special in this album. So I hope you enjoy it. And until the next time, you take care. And I look forward to seeing you somewhere out there on the road. You lie awake on the darkest night. I wish you fell.